In the heart of the Anschutz Medical Campus is the University of Colorado School of Medicine, home to students and faculty who are here to teach, discover, care, serve, and learn. The emphasis in our education is not only are you going to be a good scientist and a good doctor who knows how to treat certain common illnesses or less common illnesses, but also how to treat families and how to treat patients and be a true physician that cares for the whole patient. Working with these amazing researchers and amazing physicians, you know, these people that come in and give our lectures and are so humble about everything, and then, you know, you go home and Google them later and realize how amazingly accomplished they are. The faculty just care so much about the success of the students. I really do have so much pride and so much excitement that I am going here. Just the amazing students and the amazing faculty that I'm surrounded by, I feel lucky all the time. It's really humbling and amazing to be here. So. I'm extremely proud. I think that it's a very unique state school in that it's highly regarded throughout the country and it's not a private school. It's not Harvard, it's not Yale. I don't want to be like Duke or Yale or Harvard. I want to be the University of Colorado School of Medicine. I want to maintain the level of compassion that's expected throughout my career. I want to be a part of a community that serves a rural area as well as an urban area. I think it's just a very unique school and I'm very proud to say that I went to medical school at the University of Colorado. Because I'm here at the university, I interact with the residents all the time and so I get to teach everyone from people who are completely undifferentiated to people who have chosen our field and know very specifically what they want to focus on. We get to have a great relationship with our patients and our students and uh, all work together and our students get a lot of exposure and the clinical opportunities are really, they're amazing and our students also get to collaborate with each other, work with each other, and since there are so many amazing individuals, I think that's an opportunity in itself to meet a really strong class. We have a lot of programs that are really innovative and creative and things you're not gonna find anywhere else, and so I think our students have a very strong core and then some really exciting um, new opportunities as well. The mission here is to help kids not only through the ability to provide them the best care, but also through the ability to try and explore how we can treat them better. And when I came here, the Children's Hospital, as well as the university, really put a lot of support and effort into helping me develop a program where we can treat kids with stroke and uh, try to research and understand why they uh, have strokes and what we, how we can treat them better. I am very thankful for the fact that they gave me that opportunity and I think it really proves that they are trying to make things better in our community. Trevor is an awesome little kid. Three or four years ago he started having a number of small strokes. Uh, it took us a month or so to figure out exactly why. Tim's involvement not just with, with local expertise here but across the globe, how they network together to learn about you know, how can we identify those early symptoms, what Trevor went through with multiple strokes to his, da you know, his damage and what to look for. It's because of what we learned or they learned with Trevor have been able to help kids after, which, you know, for us is, is great. I mean, if, if families could avoid what we, what we went through, you know, to see based on symptoms and other things and catch that early, I mean, that's what research is all about. And that's why this is so important. I feel very grateful and very humbled to be able to help kids like Trevor. That's a really a wonderful thing to be a part of and I'm very proud of that. Many universities are known uh, for having a broad group of investigators from lots of different disciplines that can begin to focus on complex problems like pulmonary fibrosis. However, very few places allow you to move all the way from the molecule to the bench to the patient to the population. Very few universities have that very broad spectrum of expertise and also a very strong clinical program like the University of Colorado.
Colorado has. We now have focused on a few of those genes that we think are very important in terms of the risk of developing pulmonary fibrosis. It's very exciting because well, we're talking about a disease that's not only incurable, uh, but oftentimes results in death. We think uh, we have the tools now to catch it early, and uh, we're beginning to have the tools uh, that we think we could um, prevent it from progressing. So this summer, we started a program called the Hot Spotters Program, and it's really focused on vulnerable populations while educating the students about the differences that exist and the health inequities that exist, and also how the community is so capable and has tons of resources out there, not just with the healthcare system, but also with community resources that can help them get better foods and housing and clothing and all of those things that impact people's um, healthcare. I think it's just been a really exciting journey, so many opportunities here both in the school and the hospital and you know everyone that I've gotten to meet whether they were at the school or within the community or at the state level they've been so welcoming to receive ideas and how to improve care for our vulnerable patients and that's to me is just really exciting. I'm a third year physical therapy student. The program is amazing. All the professors are very generous, very interested in, in not only our academics, but also digging down deep into the relationship part of patient care, which that's what I feel like really ties into what is going on with the refugee community and the community surrounding uh, the Anschutz Medical Campus. I lived in Thailand for three years and I worked along the border with the refugee population there, the refugees from Burma. A lot of them have fled very horrible situations where very close family members have been killed and they lived in refugee camps for 10, 20 years and then finally were able to come over here and you know, they think they have it made but then they find out that it's way more difficult here than it was in the refugee camps. If you can imagine going from the jungle and being a farmer to being slapped down right into, in the middle of Denver and trying to figure out the language, plus trying to deal with health insurance, with going to the doctor, with the emergency room, with the whole system, you know, not just healthcare, but beyond that, navigating just the United States in general is a very different world. They have an amazing story, and to become part of that story and become part of the strength that you see in them is, is an honor. I think we've got a fabulous environment for learning. The most important part of that, really, the buildings now help a lot, but at its core is we've got a fabulous, committed faculty and wonderful hospitals and community settings for them to learn medicine. The University of Colorado School of Medicine, a place to learn, teach, discover, care, and serve.